Hi, I'm Michael. Today we're at Fairchild Tropical Gardens in beautiful Coral Gables and we're going to do a mini tour of the gift uh, center and just some areas immediately around the entrance to the park. It's such a large botanical garden. We're going to save another video for that. So, you ready to dig in? Let's grow. Here we are, this is the center island in the roundabout just outside the entrance. There's the entrance, I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at the Imperial Bromeliads. These guys, beautiful, super expensive. We had some stolen from our home in Miami Shores when we planted them because they're very, very expensive, but beautiful. Bromeliads. Fortunately, with Zika, scared that we have, we don't plant them that much because they sometimes can host mosquito larva. So here we are, Fairchild Tropical Gardens. This is the entrance to the gift center. And beyond the gift center is the formal entrance. Ooh la la, I'm so excited. Here we go. Let's see which one. Which one? There we go. Wow, look at this place. Isn't it nice? There's so many cool things in the gift center. There's books on orchids and palms. You can get garden hats. It's just a lot of really cool things in this gift center. Bluebird. Ooh, shiny objects. How pretty. Oh, I spotted a unicorn. Okay, I think I spent enough time looking at the gifts. Oh, what's that over there? Oh, that's our entrance. Ready to go? Let's do this. Push, empujar in Spanish. Oh, isn't this pretty? Uh, now we're going through the limestone colonnade, the arch colonnade into the garden. Welcome to Fairchild Tropical Botanic Garden, everybody. Right in front of us here is a beautiful sapodilla tree, also known as monkey's apple. And over here, we have some beautiful, beautiful alocasia. These are the Borneo giant variety. And to the left of them is a trumpet tree. Oh, those are beautiful when they're in full flower. This one's just finishing its flowering. Botanic Garden is an organization committed to botanical research and education, as well as conservation. It's over 83 acres, and it was founded in 1936 and named after the renowned botanist, Dr. David Fairchild. We're entering into plot 49 of the garden and over here is a double red flame ginger. Isn't it beautiful? Here we're coming up upon another Borneo giant alocasia and the leaves get enormous, sometimes three feet long. 
We're now moving southwest into the garden along this lovely path. Here to the left, we have some purple fire spike plant, just beautiful flowers. And over to the right here, we have a dwarf banana. And we also have a big, big, beautiful star begonia. Really, really cool begonia. Look at that. Look at the leaves. And over here we have another cluster of fire spike. It comes in both a purple and a red variety. And this plant here is approaching its full height. It gets to about four, four and a half feet tall, but it's just a beautiful bushy plant. And hummingbirds love this plant as well as butterflies. On the other side of the walkway is a big, beautiful Jamaican poinsettia. And down below here is an aphalandra, or commonly known as zebra plant. Here's a variety with beautiful orange spike and yellow flowers. Isn't it beautiful? We're now leaving plot 49 and moving into plot 50. The Jamaican poinsettia is just covered in flowers right now. And bees love, love this plant. And right across the terminus of this entrance walkway is a really cool area. To the right here at the ground is a big, big bromeliad, the Portia, and this is the extensa variety. Big, big, beautiful purple flowers come out of the spike. And this tree over here is amazing. It's called the rainbow gum, and its bark peels in such a fashion that it creates this kaleidoscope of colors. It's amazing. I kid you not, I'm not doing any Photoshop or video editing. This is the, the color the tree's bark forms as it grows. It gets very, very tall. It grows extremely fast. Um, it's handled a lot of hurricanes and still still standing. It's a, it's a non-native to Florida, but I'll tell you it is, and when I mean by fast growing, I mean several feet in a summer, easily. And these buttressing roots are just just spectacular. And over here is a beautiful white Duranta, also known as the trumpet tree. It has beautiful white scented flowers. Now we're walking over to the tram area, which is down. It's not working right now because of the pandemic, but you can take this to tour the extensive parts of the garden. And hopefully this year they'll open back up. There's to our right, some bananas and to our left, some cycads beautiful, beautiful plants lining this walkway. Here's a large planting of crinum lilies and an aeroid. Well, look at it, it's flowering, how cute.
As we wind down part one of the garden tour, I just want to say thank you for joining us and to come back because we're going to do this in six parts. The botanical garden is so large, we need to do these in six different videos. So hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post new videos of the botanical garden. And I want to leave you with one final view. This is one of my most favorite views in the in the botanical garden. So you ready to take it all in? Here we go. Look at that view. Oh, can't get enough of it every time I go to the gardens. Those are a whole cluster of coconut palms out there on a little peninsula. And years ago, Chihuly did an art exhibit here with a bunch of floating glass sculptures. I'll show some images of that. It was spectacular. So this concludes part one of our tour. If you have any questions, please just leave them in the comment box below and I'll get back to you on it. Thanks so much. Bye. We want to thank you again for joining us and if you like what you see please consider subscribing to our channel and let your friends and family know too thanks again